Talks and Herons. Today we are going to look at adding money. This is an important skill you need to have because if you're in the shops and you're walking around and you want to buy everything, you need to know how much everything will come up to to see if you have enough money. So we're going to look at adding money today. Okay, brilliant. Let's go. So adding money genuinely could not be easier. If you're feeling confident with column addition, which I know you are, then adding money is so simple. So there's just one thing you need to remember. We'll get onto that in a second. So the thing we've got here, we can see we've got 90p for a juice drink and 60p for a donut. If I go to the shops and I want to buy both of these, I need to know how much they're going to cost all together. So we line up our numbers. So we've got our pound zone. We've got zero pounds point nine t. Okay, and that's what I've got. Uh, I'm just going to make my point nice and clear that it's there. And again, I'm going to add my 60p, so I'm just going to line this up. Zero. Point. Ooh, colour in. <laughs> Six. Zero. And I'm going to add these together. And it is as simple as this. Zero and zero is zero. 9 and 6. We're going to carry on. So 9 in our head, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we know that when it's 15, my 5 goes here and my 1 carries next column. So it's 1 and 5. We can see that that 10 does not fit here. So we carry it over into the next column. Now this is the thing. This is the important thing not to forget. My dot is here. My dots line up, they must line up in my answer as well. As you can see, that one that I've moved over, that's 100. That's 100 pennies. My 90 and my 60 added together, that went over 100. That's 100 pennies. So it can't come into the penny section anymore after the point. It's got to go before the point because it's a pound. Now, I have 1 plus 0 plus 0. And again, my pound sign just goes back in. Pound sign plus pound sign equals pound sign. So I am left with 90 pence plus 60 pence is one pound 50. So easy. The things you've got to remember though is that point. If that point's lined up here in my question, it's got to be lined up there in my answer. My donut and my drink do not cost 150 pounds. 150 pounds for a donut is a lot. We want £1.50. Don't make your donut cost £150. So my dot is here, my dot is here, so my dot is here, okay? The same with this one. So my burger costs £2. Don't forget the dot. 70. My burger does not cost £270. That is a very expensive burger. And my ice cream, which I want as well. Yum, yum costs one pound thirty P. I'm not doing these numbers too bad, touch wood. Okay, so we're gonna add these together again. So groozy, zero at zero is zero. Seven and three, seven in your head, eight, nine, ten. Ten, that is two digit number, it can't carry over. It's got to carry over. So my zero goes here, my one goes here, and we can see it is one, zero, ten. Here is my point. Don't forget my point. I do not want a burger and an ice cream that cost me over a hundred pounds. And then I've got one plus two is three, plus the other one is four. So don't forget my pound sign. My burger and my ice cream together cost me a nice even four pounds. They do not cost me. 400 pounds. They cost me four pounds. That's why my dot is here. You've got to remember that. Okay, we did zero and zero is zero. Seven and three is ten. So my zero went here. My one carried over. One plus two plus one is four. So here I've created my own little shop. I'm now shopkeeper Miss Jane. So as you can see, I've got some apples, which were worth pound ninety-eight. I've got some tomatoes, they're £6.50. I've got some cherries, which are £5.75. 
I've got some bananas, which are £2.65. I've got some pineapples, which are £7.35. And I've got a watermelon that is £3.29. As you can see here, I've got shopping list A, shopping list B, and shopping list C. And you need to work out the cost of both of these items together. So, pause the video here, have a go yourself, or do some with me. So if you feel like you can do it yourself, do it now. Otherwise, pause it, do some with me. Okay, so you should either now be checking your answers with me if you've had a go yourself, or you are doing this last one with me just to continue practicing. So, I have got here some lovely apples, which I can see are £1.98. And I want to buy a watermelon, which is £3.29. So I need to add these together. Eight and nine. So in my head, I'm going to go with nine because it's the bigger number in my head. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 is my answer. So my seven goes here. My one goes up here because I carry it over. And now I need to add nine and two, add one. So nine in my head, add one is 10, add two is 11, 12, 12. So my two goes here and my one carries over. Don't forget the line up. I don't want a watermelon and an apple that's going to cost me over a hundred pounds. So. Now I add up these ones, one and one is two, two and three is five. Don't forget my pound sign. So in here I can put that my watermelon and my apple cost five pounds 27. Okay. And the next one is some um, cherries, which cost me 5.75. Seven, five, and some tomatoes or strawberries, can't remember what they were. I mean, this thing, which costs pound sign six dot and fifty p. And I'm gonna add these together. I think I'm getting pretty good at my numbers on this thing. Okay, so five and zero, dead easy. Five, seven, add five, seven in my head, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So my two comes here, carry my one and my points, keep it in, don't want a bunch of fruit that cost me a fortune. One add five is six, six add six is twelve, so my one carries over, but it just comes here because there's nothing else to add to it. And then my pound sign is here. So my pound sign, 12 pounds and 25 pence. Make sure that dot's nice and clear. Otherwise, you've got some strawberries and cherries, which cost you 1,225 pounds. And that's a lot of money. Okay. And the last one, I've got some bananas which costs me two pound 65 and i've got some pineapples which cost me seven pounds 35 and look how always my numbers may look a bit funny but they are always lined up five above the five six above the three Dot above the dot, two above the seven, pound sign above the pound sign. So that I add it up, my numbers are all over the place, it won't add up properly. So, let's have a look at this one. I've lost my mouse, there it is. Five and five is ten. My zero goes here, carry the one over. One and six is seven, add the three is ten. So again, zero, carry the one over dot dot so dot in my answer one add two is three three add seven is ten again so 
zero goes here, one carries over, there's nothing there to add to my one, so my one just drops down, and then I can put my pound sign. So I can write my answer is 10 pounds. Now I could do dot zero zero here, but I don't need to because 10 pounds doesn't have any pennies on it, this answer, so I can just put 10 pounds. Okay. So here, okay, so here is your activity. This is my shop, and I would like you to choose two things to buy from my shop, add them together, and tell me what the total cost of them are. So you could choose, oh, knowing you lot, you would choose really, really healthy things. So you're going to go for water and a nice cucumber sandwich, I'm sure. So you would have to add $3.99 for the water, plus the £1.80 for the sandwich and work out the total cost together just like I showed you. Do this at least five times um, and if you fancy a challenge there is a challenge here too. Okay so I'll go back to the other one so you can pause the screen and have a go at this and if you want to have a go at the challenge here it is. Good luck, see you soon, bye!